All right, guys. Well, we're here today. Um, we actually got a, a, a lot of info about this place from our website. There's been a lot of sightings and a lot of information coming in about this place. And a lot of fresh material for us to work with. We may have a pack of Sasquatches coming in here. As we were coming in, I could see a lot of the large migratory signs. You know, because big paths are coming through and I'm seeing lots of down areas where they may have camped. I, I think it's going to be a really squatchy area, guys. Yeah. Looking good. And I already seen a lot of like wildlife sign around in the place. You can see some deer and, and stuff like that. So it's definitely not out of the ordinary that a Bigfoot could have just come into the area, kind of taking it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and we'll split up. We'll get a good idea of this area before we make a decision on what to do with it. So Nathaniel, you and Rachel want to go this way, and Bobo and I will go over here and we'll take a look around. All right. Sounds Meet good. Meet back here in a couple hours? Sure. Sounds great. Let's go. Go around this way. Why don't you go around that way a little bit? And we'll look and see if we can find anything in this area. Yeah, definitely. Some definitely migratory signs. Good migration going on in here. This this tree looks almost freshly down, like maybe they toppled it over. Hey Bobo! I got a bed right here. This could be an area that the squash was laying in even last night. Good, it's out of the way, out of the wind. Either a big game was here last night, but we haven't seen any of those, or this was a squatch. Ah, uh, should I lay it in and see what it, see if it's still warm? Let me see how big this thing is. Man, oh. that thing was huge. Oh, it take up the whole bottom, man. Gotta be a squatch. Nothing else is this big. Oh, Bubba, what's that over there? Oh my, what do we have here? Is this? That feces. It might just be mud. It might be, but the, the coloration, it's different. I'm thinking that might be some, some squatch feces. Let's might take be. a taste here. Nope, just mud. Oh, uh, it's really hard to tell. Because they're not since the last rain, that's for sure. So it's really hard. They could be, but you know. Um, it could be other things too. Oh, fuck. See how the coloring stops. Oh, goodness. It could have been. Um... You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this is a a urine wash. The Sasquatch stands here and as it urinates on the bottom of the tree, the moss falls off because of the acidity of the urine. Well, I was thinking maybe. You know how they have really itchy feet? And that's why they have to shuffle? They could have like too. scraped their feet and it scrapes off the... I'm gonna stick with my urine, my <laughs> urine option. You see the scrape right here? It's like an animal that's scraping the sand as it was coming over me. It's bigger than my hand. Pretty big there. It's gotta be at least. That could be a squash. You think they actually ate somebody? Well guys, today um, we're here and we found a really close area to a video we were submitted. Um, the, the video shows Bigfoot, and he, uh, a, a mysterious creature that they believe was Bigfoot running. Now it's not very long and they, they only got it for a second, but I think we're in a good area that kind of closely resembles the area shown on this video. If we can replicate it with our camera here, we might get a good idea of what this thing really was. Okay. I agree with that, but we watched this video multiple times. and The quality is very poor, almost as if someone shot it with an iPod or some remedial device like that. I don't know if it's real or not because it's just so poor. Just disappointing. It was so short, too. I mean, it's like three seconds, and all you see is just this little bit. There should be more than that before or after, and it just... I don't know. Based on that short video, you kind of get an idea that it might be like an adolescent. I don't think it's a full grown Bigfoot. Just judging by the size of it and also just the fact that it's so close to human beings, it had to have been an adolescent. So I think the best thing to do is try to record it and see if we can match the video with both size and length and see if we can get a good recording. Because you think it's an adolescent, 
Why don't we have Rachel try to reenact this video of this Bigfoot, and then we'll see how close it relates to the other video. All right. Okay, Rachel, we're ready for you to run. Go ahead now. That looks really close. I just don't think she's big enough on it. Yeah, we need, we need a little bigger. Bubba, you wanna go ahead and give it a shot? We'll see if you can't get closer to this Bigfoot. I'm yeah. thinking he's a little big though. Let me take a whack at it first. All right. All right, Nathaniel, whenever you're ready, we're ready down here. I think that's close, but I don't think he's big enough. That's, that's close. That's close. Well guys, I think we did some really good work here today, but I don't think we quite matched the video that we saw. Oh, I, I thought it looked pretty good, man. Or I definitely think it was a real video. <laughs> I think it was a man in a suit. Oh, what? Well, are you dissing on jumpsuits now? Jumpsuits are a respectable fashion. For some. Well guys, you, whether it's real or not, I do think this area is good. So why don't Nathaniel and I stay out here tonight and tomorrow morning, you guys go talk to the people at the town hall meeting. That's all right. We'll go set that up. Let's go. See you guys tomorrow. Today, Bobo and I are here at the community center talk to some of the locals about their sightings of Bigfoot and I hope we have a good turnout and they have lots to say about what they've seen. So I just have a quick question for you. How many of you here have actually had a Bigfoot encounter? Wow, wow. That is great. Well, how many of you have actually seen Bigfoot and like you could prove it? Whoa, it's nice. Wow, how many of you guys have seen Bigfoot recently? We had such a great turnout today. We had a full crowd and everyone seemed to have some sort of encounter with this Bigfoot. We knew it was going to be a good area. We didn't know it was going to be this good. We got a couple leads and we're going to be following up on them tomorrow, try to get some good footage of the areas and locations where people had these sightings. Well, we're out in the woods right now. Just got out here from a long drive. We're going to come pick up Chris and Nathaniel. They've been out here all night listening for the sounds of the Bigfoot and stuff. We did some calling at dawn, and we think we might have heard some noises. We think we might have heard a squash a couple of times, but we're not sure. So what did you guys find out at the town hall? Well, at the town hall meeting, we had a really good attendance, and uh, it seemed like almost everybody at the meeting had had some sort of encounter with Bigfoot. Well, we're going to go and meet up with Sam. She had some really great stuff to say at our town hall meeting. Apparently, she actually saw Bigfoot, which wow. is amazing. Wow. So let's head on down and catch up with her and hear what she has to say. OK, well, um, it was actually further up the trail here. And I was just hiking, and then I hear this like grunting and really heavy breathing. And then I like look up, and in the trees, it's standing there. And it was just huge, standing there looking at me. And it was super huge. Where exactly? Could you call it a point where it was at? Well, it was over like behind that log. I think the best thing to do in this situation is why don't we try to recreate it for you so that you can give us yeah. a good explanation and description of how this Bigfoot acted and maybe we can get a good idea about how big this, this squash really was. Alright Bobo, go ahead and give us a good squash. No, he's, he's not really big enough. Are you serious? Alright Bobo, she's saying you're not quite big enough. Um, we want to try to get a good feel for this Bigfoot. So why don't you go ahead and hold your arms out until uh, we can find out how wide this squatch is. That'll give you a good idea about how tall. All right, man. Tell me when. All right. OK, about now. Stop. Bobo, that's about how wide. Go ahead and show us how tall that Bigfoot would be. Is it about there? Yeah, about there. That's a big squash. 
So we're going to meet up with our other guy up here. And he said his encounter was right near the river. So this is where we told him that we'd meet up. So why don't you kind of take us through what happened with your encounter, man? Well, uh, one day I was sitting here fishing and uh, a rock landed beside me. And th this is a rock. Are you serious? Looks like it got squatch marked. You're, you're touching the rock, man. You're destroying the evidence. Put it down. What you did by picking up the rock made it so we can't look at it and get a, an accurate reading off of the rock. So uh, go ahead and tell us what happened after you heard the rock land next to you. Well, uh, afterwards, I heard some screaming and grunts behind me. That's almost exactly like it. The murdered woman scream. All right, so that means that this squatch was uh, a lady, a female squatch. And that means she must have been feeling that you were intruding on her territory and you could have actually been close to their den. Thanks for taking us through your encounter here. You definitely got some good areas to check out now. Definitely a solid lead on your part. I appreciate it. Well, I do think this was a good area. I think this gives us a lot to work with. Well, and he said uh, it was the murdered lady scream, so we think there's a den nearby. Let's go ahead and we'll go back, we'll get some food, and we'll come back out here tonight. Definitely. Right. So, uh, Rachel and Bobo are going up on the north side of this uh, this area, check the squatchage, and uh, we're gonna head head down the south and uh, check it out. We got some interesting tools with us tonight. We got a thermal camera. We're gonna check some thermal readings of the squatchage. I'm gonna be able to look through the trees and see if there's anything in there without us actually being able to see it with our eyes. This will allow us to look better at the dark and not interrupt the squatches. Maybe we'll get a better chance at actually seeing something tonight. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I think we might try a couple of calls here. All right, we're ready when you are. Should I go ahead and get mine first? I've always yeah. liked the way it sounds. It sounds pretty squatchy. Yeah. Can try it. Sure. Dude, that was really squatchy, but I'm not seeing any movement. You guys hear any responses over there? Negative, negative. Dude, that was pretty squatchy, man. I really thought we were going to get a response from that. I put my all into that call. I thought it was a good one. I don't know. Go back, see if you can hear it. Okay, let's see what I can find here. What do we got here? This is this. That's, that's a good stick. I feel like at a moment one of them could just kind of like come out at us. Don't you kind of feel that way? It could be Sasquatch. Then it's usually like a squirrel or something. It freaks me out. You're thinking about this way too deeply. No, Sasquatches are real. Do you not believe? Oh, oh! Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Up over there. What? What? what we got? Dude, there's movement. Movement right there. Right in that tree. Right, right there. Right there. I'm not seeing it, man. Hey, look, look, right here. It's right there. Right. It's there, but it's not there. You can't see it. But it's there. Dude, let's call Bo. We'll see if we can get him to call. Hey, uh, Rachel, Bobo, can we get a screech yell? We're getting some good sound. Rachel, you want to give us the, the murdered lady call? Oh, I love that one. Go ahead. All right. I'll hold your radio. Get the good echo. Rachel, that was like squatchier than squatch, okay? Between the trees over there? Did you guys hear anything? No, we think we might have saw one thing. But it ended up being a cat, so we're not quite sure. We did hear some really good sounds that could have sounded like rock throwing or hitting. And it doesn't look like we found anything here tonight. We definitely have some squashy noises out there. We're just, we're not going to be able to confirm that there's squashes in this area. It's ridiculous. People are relentless chasing a Sasquatch that they can't find any proof for. 
anything other than ghost stories and tall tales when should be relentless in pursuing the creator and the one who made us and the one who loves us and can actually give you something real worth being relentless in pursuing. Maybe you get closer together just so I share the light. <laughs> no, but okay, that's creepy. <laughs> well, if I can make this one, Rachel. Wish me luck. Yeah, this happened and that happened, and then I walked away and I went and told someone about it. I don't know if I can make it. Not sure if I can make it. Hey man, it's clear you're full of BS. So you're gonna push it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my family I love them for me, Rachel. Bobo, you're an expert taster. If you lick this rock, you can tell us where the squatch is. Sometimes it works, but I wonder where are the fingerprints. Kinda, you can kind of. It looks see like, like it's on this more. damn area right there. <laughs> I don't think it is. Bobo, this is this is it. This is the Daniel. Don't know if I'm gonna make it, man. <laughs> looks like it's right up here on top, is where the handprint kind of. Kind of looks like the handprint probably went like that on it, but. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not convinced it's not bear poop. <laughs> Woo! I made it, Rachel. I made it. You just drug through our evidence. Let's see if we can hear it again. Okay. But I'm alive! That's that's good. I'm just gonna walk over the top. Yeah, I could have done that. Hey, Bobo, Rachel, we don't want to intrude on your territory. Uh, where's your location? We're over by the river. We're heading north. There's a river? Where's the river at? Follow the sound. Follow the sound of the river. I can't even hear the river. There's too much wind. We can't hear the river. Listen harder. <laughs> I'm listening as hard as I can. <laughs> Listen oh, harder. <laughs> I think you're serious. <laughs> Bobo. You're scared or you just like freaking out because it's so funny. Squatch on three. One, two, three. Squatch! Squatch.